Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Well my friends, it seems that we find ourselves in a time where traditional American values are being cast aside faster than a hot potato. And what's filling that void? Satanism. Yes, you heard me right. Satanism is becoming one of the fastest growing religious organizations in America, and it's no wonder why. With videos featuring Satan getting millions of views on TikTok and YouTube, and shows featuring Satan as a main character on Netflix and other streaming services, it's no surprise that Satan has become one of the hottest spiritual figures in America. The Satanic Temple is growing at a rapid pace, and traditional American values are declining just as quickly. Now, I know what you're thinking. But why would anyone want to worship Satan? And that's a valid question. But let me tell you, Satanism's values correspond almost perfectly with the values that many people have already embraced in this day and age. Individualism, self-gratification, and a disregard for authority, are just a few examples. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Once upon a time, most Americans were repulsed by anything that had to do with Satan. But now, it seems that Satan is being eagerly welcomed into homes and hearts all over the nation. It's a sad state of affairs my friends, but it's the reality we find ourselves in. So, should we be surprised that Satan has become one of the hottest spiritual figures in America? I don't think so. As our society continues to come apart at the seams, people are searching for something to fill the void. And for some, Satanism seems to be the answer. It seems like Satan and Satanism have gone mainstream. Of course this is intentional, there are people behind the curtain deliberately making this happen. The devil is no longer just lurking in the shadows, but is front and center in American pop culture. From movies to TV shows, podcasts to children's books, Satan is becoming a staple in the entertainment industry. There are even Satan after school clubs popping up, and an increasing number of Satanist groups with their own political divisions. It's no wonder that the Satanic Temple is becoming one of the fastest growing religious organizations in America. Netflix alone has dozens of titles dealing with hellish demons, including Warrior Nun, Devil in Ohio, The Bastard Son and The Devil Himself, and Lucifer, in which the ruler of hell runs a piano bar in California. Even comedy is fair game, with Ted Danson playing a torturous demon who is prone to mistakes in the Netflix series, The Good Place. And if that's not enough to make your hair stand on end, get this. A major convention is coming up, billed as the largest satanic gathering in history. It's called Hexenicht in Boston, or Witches Night, and it's taking place in Boston from April 28 to 30, 2023. The Satanic Temple is dedicating the event to Boston Mayor Michelle Wu, whom they accuse of making unconstitutional efforts to keep them out of Boston's public spaces. In the old days, a few fringe weirdos might have gotten together for something like this. But now, Satanism seems to have gone mainstream. Again, it's a sad state of affairs my friends, but it's the reality we find ourselves in. As traditional American values continue to decline, it's no wonder that Satanism is filling the void for some. But we must not let Satanism become the new normal in America. I've got some news to share with you that's been making waves across the country. This year's SatanCon was a total hit, selling out six whole weeks in advance. 
That's right, the Satanic Temple was in charge of this wild conference, and it's been growing like crazy since it was established in 2012. Believe it or not, they've now got over 700,000 registered members, that's a lot of people. That makes the Satanic Temple one of the fastest growing religious organizations in US history. Crazy right? One of their big beliefs is that you should have complete control over your own body, which sounds pretty reasonable to me. But here's the thing. Everything is kind of going in the opposite direction these days. It's a bit of a bummer, but it's true. The Wall Street Journal Nork poll has shown that traditional American values are declining at an alarming rate. The poll reveals some pretty grim statistics. For example, the number of Americans who say patriotism and religion are very important to them has taken a steep dive. And fewer people these days seem to value community involvement, hard work, and having kids. It's all right there on the graph, folks. In 1998, 70% of people said patriotism was very important. Today, only 38% do. And 25 years ago, 62% said religion was very important, but now it's down to just 39%. Whoa, those statistics are really something else. It's hard to believe that we've fallen so far as a society. Unfortunately, in an environment like this, it's all too easy for evil to thrive. Take for example the recent case of a man who was convicted of over 2,000 counts of child It's a horrifying story, but unfortunately it barely made a blip in the news. Why? Because there are countless other predators out there just like him. And it won't be long before the number of registered sex offenders in America hits 1 million. It's a sad reality, but there's no denying that evil has always been a part of our society. There have been many signs of Lucifer's arrival among us all. What's really concerning though, is that today there are vast multitudes of people who are openly celebrating it. Satanism has become a popular choice for those who revel in doing evil. And as more and more Americans reject goodness and embrace Satan, what will happen to our nation? It's truly uncharted territory, and we should all be deeply alarmed by the tremendous evil that's rapidly growing all around us. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.